Evening everyone. 2018 Tops Finest Baseball 8 box pick your team 8 filled up, filled and ready to go. We're so we're all on the big hit express. Let's see if anyone's going to pull some train whistles during this trip right here. Our Scott with the Angels he got him straight up along with the Yankees. Triple last spot mojo. We got the Rays, Blue Jays and the Angels all at once. So good luck to him. Good luck to everybody, of course. If you're counting, if you're uh, keeping track at home, ladies and gentlemen, if you're keeping score at home, we've not pulled an Otani autograph out of here. We've pulled some nice stuff out of here. Don't get me wrong. But we're going to see if uh, there's going to be some magic made tonight. All right, now Scott is in the chat, and he said he's been patiently waiting. Thank you, Scott, and thank you, everybody. There's all eight boxes right here. He's been waiting patiently. He's been enjoying a little bit of uh, fermented grapes. And now he's, he's saying that only, uh, he's like, the wine is gone. Only a different kind of fermented grape left. Only champagne left. Well, Scott, if I pull an Otani autograph for you, I'll give you permission to pop with that champagne. All right. Uh, Justin, have we seen an Ozzy Albius autograph yet? I feel like we have. I mean, we've pulled some nice stuff out of here. I don't know why I'm blank. I took some pictures of some nice stuff we got last week. I haven't even posted that yet. On We've got some nice stuff. I feel like we have pulled in, pulled at least one or two Albiuses at this point. I'd be happy to pull more. Two autographs per box, ladies and gentlemen. One auto per mini box. Good luck to all. So what does that make? Eight box, 16 total. 16 autographs total. This break should take us a little bit past the top of the hour. It should take us about 15 minutes past the top of the hour. Just about. It feels shorter, though. There's a lot of fun stuff in this break. And then um, we'll do a quick one-box break, Vultima Collection. And then that'll be our night, folks. And then we'll join everybody again tomorrow, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern, right here on this channel. Be sure to subscribe, all that jazz. Okay. we got Chris Bryant, 250. That's for the Cubs. That'll go to Scott. Scott McNulty with that one. And behind Syndergaard is a Yankee, Garrett Cooper, for Scott McNulty. And the Bronx Bombers, or Baby Bombers, as they call them, I suppose. First auto there. There's Miguel Andujar, who's been crushing. They, they, they've got a scary good team, don't they, the Yankees? This is the autograph that Scott McNulty is looking for. There's Bryce Harper to 150. And they're sitting red, Cody Bellinger, out of 50. I think some of these are autographed, too. That goes to the Dodgers. Andrew Kay with my Dodgers. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. The card is gold. And behind Josh Donaldson is Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. Nice. He might be. He might be some some trade bait right there. Watch the uh, watch which insets. It's all right. I've I've done this before. <laughs> and if I do miss one, don't worry, folks. Our shipping team, when they sort everything out, will make sure all the all the inserts and whatnot will ship. Or any numbered cards that I may miss. I usually catch everything though, I feel like.
All right, good luck, folks. Set those right there. Scores, baseball scores. My Dodgers pounding on the Rangers 12 to five. Mariners beating the Angels 6-3. Astros beating the Oakland A's 6-3. Man, is this like the fourth game in a row? The Diamondbacks have scored like over 10 runs. 13-8 over the Pirates. Padres 4-2 over the Cardinals. Cincinnati scoring five, or it looks like they, they scored four in the top of the 10th to beat the Royals in Kansas City. White Sox beating the Cleveland Indians 5-1. Brewers shutting out the Cubbies 4-0. Braves beating the Mets 8-2. Rays 4-1 over the Blue Jays. Miami 3-1 over the Giants. Minnesota beats Detroit at Detroit 6-4. Yankees shutting out the Nationals 3-0. Phillies 5-4 over the Rockies. Red Sox 6-4 over the Baltimore Orioles in Baltimore. Bam, Domingo Santana, Orange. 16 out of 25 for the Brew Crew. Been playing some hot baseball. That goes to Scott V and the Brewers. And behind Benintendi is Miguel Andujar. Nice. 75 out of 150. I feel like someone was saying like the refractor autographs go for like 70, 80 bucks. Out of 150, a little bit more than that. He's been hitting the ball very well too. So maybe even better. Scott McNulty, Yankees. It's a strong one. Might cover, what, half the spot right there? All right, and behind Cornerstones, Joey Votto is Anthony Banda for Arthur and his Diamondbacks. Dodgers, my Dodgers, your Diamondbacks, fight to the finish, Arthur. In the NL West, first to 85 wins it. That's how good the NL West is, you guys. All right. Good luck. Talk to me, folks. What uh, most exciting or most surprising team of the season? What surprised you the most? Even if it's like, man, I thought the Yankees would be good, but not this. I mean, yeah. How does that? Any surprises? Braves, definitely a surprising team to me. I know the Phillies are struggling a little bit right now, but I think the Phillies are still pretty surprising. But aside from, from aside from the sort of obvious answers, is there any sort of unexpected ones, unexpected teams that you're kind of surprised about that people maybe don't talk about too often? That we give them a, give them a little bit of airtime here. Seattle, how about that? They're percentage points ahead of the uh, Astros right now. They're, they they're have 43 wins right now. A's? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't think the A's would be a game over 500 at this point. I think, I think they've got a good team, too. I think they could put it together. They might have They might have a little window in the next year or two. Cubs are in first, even with Les Miles as a manager. Yeah, Cubs look good. I think they started off started off slow, but they're right next to right next to the Brew Crew. There's Refractor Otani, so the, all all those Otani's add up too. There's 13 out of 99, JP Crawford and Cal Ripken Jr. die cut. Uh, EA 
I'm sure Eric, Eric has noticed during our breaks, we have not seen an autograph die cut of Calic. I know those are pretty difficult to find too, just like the Otani, but for those of you keeping score at home in your case break scoring log, scoring scorebook, Just got to find some ink on that. There's Miguel Andujar, Refractor. And behind Nomar Mazzara is Adrian Beltre. Nice Beltre auto for the Rangers. Nick Sanderson. There you go. He's back in Dodger Stadium tonight. I kind of wish the uh, Dodgers never let him go. Reese Hoskins, yeah, Phillies look nice. Gary Sanchez. Mike Trout in behind. Carlos Correa is Greg Allen, rookie auto for the Tribe. Scott V with the Indians. All right, next box. I guess the surprise to me would be that the Marlins aren't as terrible as everyone thought they were going to be. That's kind of a it's kind of a positive, nice positive spin there. Right? The Miami Marlins, not as bad as we thought they'd be. I feel like they're playing with some pride. They're playing some competitive baseball. Although, although like Jeter's like, you're supposed to tank. That's the whole point. They might still end up with the worst, worst record in baseball. Who has the worst record in baseball? The Reds? They only have 24 wins, 358. Oh, the Royals. No, the, the Orioles. It's a brutal season for their for O's fans. They, I mean, they got to move. They must be getting calls. Is it Dan Duquette? Is he still there? Dan Duquette must be getting calls every day. Dan Duquette must be must be calling Peter Angelos and his son every day. So we we got an offer for this guy. What do you think? Can we pull the trigger? We got an offer for this guy. Can we? We got an offer from this team for Manny Machado. What can we do? They got to clear out that whole team, right? They just got to start from scratch. Or not from scratch. They got to start. They got to build around maybe Chance Cisco, Trey Mancini. They got to build around those young guys. You got to move Adam Jones. You could maybe even move. Now, Scope's kind of young, but you might still be able to get a lot of value from Jonathan Scope, especially if you're going to just start from scratch with like Trey Mancini's only in his like, second season or something like that. Maybe just, just blow up the entire team. Got Alex Verdugo for my Dodgers out of 250. Jacob DeGrom. I'm gonna take a take a peek at their depth chart in this when I have a second here. There's Josh Bell and Zhu Wei Lin for Andrew K and the Red Sox. Refractor auto. I feel like he's maybe one per case. Um we got more information on him on the Wikipedia. Zunami nickname. So I thought that was good. So I, I hope he makes it. There's Justin Turner to 150. Another parallel for the Dodgers. Albert Poole's kind of turning back the clock a little bit this year. All right, behind Goldie, Cornerstones is J.P. Crawford. 91 out of 99. Nice one for the Phillies, D-Mac. 
with the fills. Eight autographs to go. Good luck, everybody. So the Orioles. Yeah, you gotta, rid, you gotta get rid of all these guys. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna want Chris Davis, right? Move Chris Davis. Move Mark Trumbo. Move Dylan Bundy. Move Alex Cobb. Move Jonathan Scope. Move Manny Machado. Move Zach Britton. Move all those guys. Get get as many young prospects as possible to build around Trey. Move Adam Jones. You try to build around Trey Mancini, Francisco, Joey Rycard, and then you try to you know maybe you bring up maybe bring up uh, Austin Hayes at some point. It's Scope. Jonathan Scope, Joe P. I'm pretty sure it's Scope. Orioles fans? Kip Kip Hooray, are you out there? It's Scope, right? Pretty sure it's Scope. I always thought it was Shoop. And then someone was like, come on, bro. Scope. And I was like, right, okay, I was supposed to know that. Awesome. We got one, Joe P. Two, maybe. We got a gold Ahmed Rosario, 30 out of 50. Goes to Joe Ivor and the Mets. Man, Mets started off so well. And then they just tailed off so, so bad. I think that's a big part of it, him being injured. It's like when, it's like the Dodgers without Justin Turner. Oh, I saw red on that jersey. Nice Harrison Bader, though. Redbird, Sam Roll with the Cardinals. I thought it was going to be an Otani for Scott McNulty, Sam. I'm happy that you got this one, though. I like Harrison Bader. I have him on my fantasy team. I picked him up. I feel like uh, the Cardinals always, always sneaky competitive all the time. There's Avisel Garcia, 33 out of 250. Oh, Joe P., now that you're here. Oh, Joe confirms that it is Scope. <laughs> See, I knew that. Um, Joe P., is it like five games in a row that your Diamondbacks have scored like more than 10 runs? That's got to be some kind of w record, right? I feel like it's been five games in a row. At least 12 runs? <laughs> Are you serious? Well, I'll tell the story in a little. Tyler Wade for the Yankees. Goes to Scott McNulty. Joe P's like, no wonder he didn't sign for me when I shouted out, Shoop! Yo, Shoopy! Shoops! Joe, Joe P, who lives in Arizona, a big Diamondbacks guy, um, part of his thing that he likes to do hobby-wise, takes time off. Like He told me the story when we were hanging out with him. I wanted to know more details. I know he, get, he goes to a lot of spring training games um, in Arizona. And, like, I thought he just goes on, like, Sundays and, like, you know, goes with his, his daughter who's been here at the store before, goes with his cute little daughter and goes out, gets a few autographs and calls it a day. No. <laughs> Joe P. Like, actually, like, takes some time off work, takes, like, a week off work, you know, and then does the whole week and has a blast doing it. Gets a bucket of baseballs, you know, and gets out and, and gets a lot of autograph signs. So I could see Joe P. hustling around town. Getting autographs, they like, go. Oh, okay, Orioles, gotcha. Um, all right, I like I like that 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 Shoop guy's pretty good. I'll get his autograph. I'll get his. He looks like he's just down the line, signing some stuff. Two weeks even. So sorry, Joe P. Two weeks even. So I mean, like it's a serious thing. I think it's very cool, because I just thought it was okay. Yeah, Joe okay. Joe P. Goes out on weekends and gets autographs. No, he's intense about it. He he's got a good collection built up too. Um, so he takes it two weeks, and the rest of the month he just does weekends. There you go. 
I, you know what? I would too, Joe. Now that I think about it, I was thinking, man, if I lived in Phoenix, and I, and I know Joe P's a, a baseball fan, big baseball guy. I'm a big baseball guy too, Joe. I'd, I'd do it. He gets Fall League too, folks. Arizona Fall League. There's some hidden treasures there on those teams as well. But um, but yeah, I'd do the same thing, man. I'd take a week or two off. I'd go watch Dodger games. I'd go early and get autographs. Like That could be a nice little vacation. All right, there's Jacob deGrom, 45 out of 99. That goes to Joe Ivers and the Mets. There's Otani. All those little Otanis add up. Not little. He's a big dude, actually. Anyhow, so that's why it was just kind of funny in my head. <laughs> Joe P. at the railing. Shoop! Shoopy! Yo, Shoops! Right here! Sean Newcomb! Nice autograph there. He's having a great season. Braves having a great season. Shoop! Just walks right by. Why Why won't that guy... Man. Joe P. sitting here going, Man, shoot, what a jerk. <laughs> he signed for, signed for everybody else. Not like I... Well, asking for his autograph at dinner. You know, it's not like the Joe, Joe P.'s in, in, in a respectful environment. He just walked right by me. What a jerk. All right, behind Mike Trout, his teammate maybe? No. It's Ian Happ, though. 14 out of 25, Ian Happ for Scott McNulty and the Cubs. So what's the Haps? Right there, orange. John M. is asking, why are Otani base cards going up on eBay? Why not? As long as they continue to, to sell decently, most of these base cards... Not going to sell for the, what, five or ten bucks that each of those go for? <laughs> Maybe more? That's why. There's a supply, and it's lucky that base card is lucky enough to have a demand. Boom, dollar signs. All those other base cards, like, sorry, Noah Syndergaard. I mean, this is, that base is not even going to ship. Um, I mean, I don't know what that would go for. Probably not much. Then those Otani, we pulled one of the Otani refractors. I think those go for a healthy chunk of change. At least early on it did. And then those prices may have plateaued off a little bit now that this there's this has been out for a little bit. So there's just more out there, but I mean they still sell relatively well. It's a big deal. Well, next year, Joe P., next, next spring. Scope! And I want him to just come up to you and be like, aren't you the guy that called me, called me Shoop last year? That's why I didn't come by. All right. Almost done, ladies and gentlemen. We're making very good time on this, actually. And we'll have a quick one-box break of Ultimate Hockey, and then we'll call it a night. But we'll be back with you for another four nights this week. So don't miss out. Get into your spots, your teams, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more Finest, which I'll post after this break is over. In fact, after the broadcast is over, I'll post another case of Finest that we can start work start working through. Maybe, maybe even do another one tomorrow night. There's another Otani. Oh, oh, John, you're asking, you're asking, would if he's done until 2020, would it hurt his value? I mean, yeah, probably. But then at that point, you would just stash those cards. Lucas Giolito. But you know, two-way players don't grow on trees, so I think he'll still have some some uniqueness. To him, where his value won't go 
go down as much as it was if it was some other rookie. Haven't seen this guy's autograph yet on these little die cuts. Cal Ripken Jr. for the O's. There's Elvis Andrus. I think he's coming back off the DL pretty soon. The Giolito goes to uh, Kenneth, by the way. Ken with that one. I feel like Lucas Giolito, always on the cusp of a, about to break out. Oh, that's Adam Jones. Uh, Ryan Braun. Oh, this is our uh, case hit. Our one per case finest hour autograph. And it's going to be... For the Oakland A's, Ricky Henderson, the man of steel. Nice Ricky Henderson for Jerry Bennington and the Oakland Athletics. Nice. Nice. That is strong. There's Jackie Bradley Jr. All right. All right, last box. Cross your fingers, everybody. Good luck to everybody in this break. Still haven't seen this guy either. Two autographs to go. Cross the fingers. Get that lucky rabbit's foot. Hammer, hammer a lucky horseshoe over the head, over the over the bed, over the doorway, the the door frame. Not on the head. That's not good. Get the four leaf clover. Press pressed in between your favorite lucky book. Pray. All right, good luck, everyone. Second mini box. Be nice to end with a end with a train whistle. That'd be good. All right. Will Myers to 250. Will I sign one of your Otanis? One of the base ones? <laughs> yeah, sure. To Patrick McNulty, okay. <laughs> yeah, if we don't find one. Can I even can I even replicate his autograph? There's a Sean Newcomb out of 99. I'll have to look up his autograph. Do I have my autograph and pen? I think I do. Will Myers. Will Myers to 250. Padres quietly have a young farm system, a young team that could really, could really blow up. Nice Otani right there. That's a keeper. Cody Bellinger. We're not going to autograph that one. Oh, from me to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I can do that. Not that one, though. That's a nice Otani. Is that Otani's arm? Doesn't look like. I don't know if it looks like his arm. No, it looks like a, it looks like a Sandy Alcantara. We got the pitcher right. We got the color of the team right, but not the team that Scott McNulty was looking for. Apologies to Scott, but congrats to Sam and the Cardinals. A couple nice rookie autos for you. Chris Archer. They should trade Chris Archer to the Dodgers. That's a refractor. 
<laughs> like I can just ask the Rays and just be like, just be like, hey, Rays. I know the uh, I know I know Chris Archer is on a super club friendly contract. On a super club friendly contract, but uh, you should accept some of our minor leaguers for him. I don't think they're going to do that. Two. I don't know if this this pen works as nicely on this finest stuff. They must use a different pen on this. Do I have a different one? Maybe a Sharpie? Let's see if the Sharpie works. What kind of pen? I wonder what kind of pens they use for the service right here. To Patrick, thanks for watching. Joe, we'll let this dry off a little bit before I slide in there. There you have it, folks. That's the break. Apparently, the Statler Lumo colors is not what they use for finest autographs. I have to find out the pen they use for finest autographs. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time for the next finest break. There will be more in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.